Why do you support Iranian women? Yeah, we followed the situation very closely. It's been incredible to watch and see their stories from afar. These women are so remarkably brave, showing up on street corners, uh, choosing to take off their hijab, and all that they're risking. I mean, risking imprisonment, family harassment. They're such terrific role models for women across the world who are uh, suffering and are facing similar kinds of situations. So if a woman wants to wear a hijab, no issue with that. A woman should be able to do that. But if a woman doesn't want to, that should also, in our view, be her choice. Here in America, as we do all over the world, we support freedom of speech. It may not be speech that a country is comfortable with hearing, but that is what we support. We support that here at home, speech that our own government doesn't like, and abroad as well. Not only do we support freedom of speech, but it's a freedom of choice to wear what you want. So it's something that as an American woman, we support and we're following the women around the world who are uh, who are standing up for their rights, who are speaking with those voices and following their hearts and what they want to do. We've also followed very closely uh, the stories coming out of Saudi Arabia, for example, where we see women now driving, where we see women going to sports stadiums. And we certainly welcome that and we're thrilled to help celebrate with them. What do you think about non-Iranians? Does this law affect uh, uh, women who are not from Iran? Certainly. I think this, uh, this affects women around the world. Whether or not they're choosing to go to Iran, it affects them as well. Because you look at the country and you look at the country forcing people to dress a certain way. That goes against one of the basic uh, tenets uh, of universal democratic values. And I think that is being able to wear what you choose to wear, being able to speak and present yourself, freedom of assembly, the freedom to do what you choose to do. Um, and as a woman, if you're thinking about whether or not you want to go to Iran, you might think twice about it. A business might think twice before choosing to go to business in, into business in Tehran because of some of these uh, rep repressive laws.